there may be some truth to it, but I'm going to break this down and I'm going to reveal to you how, in fact, your car is a lot smarter than you think when it comes to fuel evaporating. Stay tuned, I'll tell you everything right after this. Pet petrol does evaporate um, more readily and it does evaporate when it gets a little bit hotter and it doesn't need a lot of uh, hot temperature for it to uh, evaporate. In fact, uh, fuel boils, I think it's something like over 200 degrees, but it will start to evaporate even at regular temperatures. So it does do that. However, modern cars, are not just, you know, um, a glorified tin can with wheels on them. They are quite smart and they have a lot of systems. It's called EVAP, E-V-A-P. And these have been around for decades, like I said. Um, evaporation can happen, um, but the idea that your, your tank is, is basically um, uh, steaming off your savings every time that the sun shines is a bit much, honestly. It is the vapors that are coming out. But since the 1970s, as I've mentioned, cars have been equipped with something called an EVAP, E-V-A-P system, uh, which is short for Evaporative Emission Control System. And at the heart of this is actually a charcoal canister. It's a charcoal canister. It basically, it's like a sponge um, for, for this evaporated fuel. So what it does, it, will, it, it traps those vapors. It, it, it gets them and it traps them and it keeps them um, so that they don't escape into the atmosphere. Brown guy, guy.